New study investigating the link between child poverty and infant brain development has found that providing poor mothers with cash stipends for the first year of their children's lives appears to have changed their baby's brain activity in ways associated with stronger cognitive development. Mothers in the study's experimental group received $333 a month and will continue to do so until their children are at least four years old. This comes as families across the nation say they're struggling to afford basic necessities after child tax credit payments previously authorized by the American Rescue Plan abruptly stopped. The Center on Poverty and Social Policy estimates that without a renewal of the CTC, the monthly child poverty rate could increase from 12.1 percent to 17.1 percent, the highest it would have been since December 2020. Dr. Hiro Yoshikawa joins us now to weigh in. He's a professor of globalization at, uh, and education at NYU Steinhardt and a professor at New York University. Welcome to Rising. Thank you very much. So it's, it's quite a coincidence, I guess, that the amount of money going out monthly to parents here is pretty close to what the child tax credit was offering. So we kind of have a, a, a real world examination of what the consequences are of, of providing that support or of, of taking it away. Were you surprised at the robustness of, of the data that you were able to get from this? Well, um, we were we started planning this study ten years ago, so uh, we certainly didn't foresee um, this expanded child tax credit um, coming. You know, there's a lot of planning for a study like this, um, and it started uh, over three years ago. So, um, so we do think the findings are important because this is the first uh, causal demonstration that poverty reduction um, provided in this way might influence infant's brain activity as early as uh, uh, after 12 months of payments and as early in development as at 12 months of age. Um, but I should say that this uh, uh, payment that we studied um, has some differences with the child tax credit. Um, first of all, that it was provided only to this particular newborn and not for additional children in the family. What's the theory for why that is the case? Is it that you know this is money that can be used then to purchase uh, food uh, or nu proper nutrition, um, that kind of thing, and that will affect brain development? Yeah, so we had two hypotheses um, uh, or two kind of buckets of what we think of as mechanisms. We're still um, analyzing these, so we don't actually have the results as to the mechanisms. But one is that parents might be investing um, in their children's development, as other studies suggest, um, that when parents uh, uh, have more income, um, they invest it in their children's learning and development. Another is that there might be reductions in uh, parents' stress levels um, uh, because of the stresses that are associated with living in poverty and making ends meet. Did you try raising the amount of money and lowering the amount of money to see if there was any sort of additional benefit or even detriment? So if you raised it up, let's say double that 333, was there double the benefit? Um, unfortunately, a study like this is, is fairly expensive to begin with. Um, so yeah, we didn't have these multiple conditions. That's a great idea. Um, it would be important to kind of look at that. But um, this was the very first uh, randomized experiment to um, uh, randomly assign moms to either $333 a month, um, as you indicated, or the uh, uh, other group got uh, $20 a month um, distributed on debit cards. One thing I've noticed about social policy research is that it can, it can be so difficult to ever show any actual statistically significant results I think because life is so complicated and there are so many variables and so many inputs. So any individual intervention winds up getting washed out by everything else that, pe that people have going on in their lives. So it's striking to, to see this. How does this, this compare? How does the robustness of this intervention compare uh, with other things that you've participated in and, and other studies generally uh, a, a, that, that attempt to make this, this kind of change? Um, so uh, one of the reasons this study is, is important is it's um, really virtually the first time in the United States that a 
poverty reduction intervention based on um, uh, monthly cash gifts in this case um, uh, was targeted to the first year of life. So we actually have very few comparisons out there. Um, we know from a, a lot of correlational studies that uh, income is associated with children's development. Um, most of those studies are done with children who are older. Um, we were able to travel into um, these low-income moms' homes at 12 months and um, measure their uh, infant's brain activity, uh, which was measured through a kind of a soft cap placed on the infant's uh, head, which is kind of like a microphone into the level of brain activity. And as we hypothesized, um, children's uh, fast-paced uh, brain activity increased um, significantly um, with higher levels in the uh, uh, $333 a month group compared to the $20 a month group. Uh, some uh, studies of, for instance, benefits of preschool, those kinds of, of programs, some of those studies are critics of those of the, the, you know, the idea that there's a lot of benefit to that will say, will point to things saying, well, by a certain age, the, the results have evened out. The people who went through this, the kids who went through the program and the kids who didn't go through the program end up looking about the same. Do you think that could be the case um, here where you, you have some kind of early, you jumpstart on brain development, but you know, by some age they're going to have the same level of, of their brain development anyway? Well, so that's a great question. Uh, it's far too early for us to know. We're going to keep following these kids, um, and the payments will continue um, up until the child turns four. So, um, so this is after one year of a planned four-year intervention, um, and uh, so, so right now we can't really say. Right now, I think I would caution against um, uh, saying that this should replace all early childhood interventions or um, uh, make us think that uh, interventions like family support or early education are less important. I think all of these are important. Um, but certainly poverty reduction, we believe, is an important enough agenda item for the United States where the rates of child poverty have remained stubbornly high for years, right? Um, uh, and we do know that the expanded child tax credit uh, made uh, quite a dent in that for the time that it was uh, being implemented. I'm curious, what, what are the parents who are enrolled either in the control group or, or the experiment group, what did they know about the experiment itself? You know, were, were they kind of at least psychologically incentivized to participate in their, uh, in their child's brain development just to you know, make, the, make the people running the experiment uh, you know, happy? You, you know what I mean? Like, did they feel like they were being watched when it came to uh, their kid's brain development? or uh, because there's a control and, and an experimental group that, it, that, that doesn't really play in? How, how did you account for that? That's a great nuanced methodological question. So, um, so let me uh, uh, answer that by saying that, yes, sometimes we might worry if the outcome of child development was reported by the mothers, for example, right? Um, because they might be uh, biased in terms of the amount of cash they're receiving to um, perceive that their child's development is doing better. Um, and so uh, in this case, we actually measured um, infant's brain activity directly. Right. Um, and so uh, that uh, effect on uh, increased brain activity is one that we're confident in. The intervention itself did not have other aspects that we might think of as psychological, um, such as guidelines on how to use the money. The um, uh, mothers were free. To, uh, these were low-income moms. They were free to um, uh, spend the money in any way uh, they wished. Um, and so that is um, uh, the only hint um, that this was for the uh, child is that the debit card um, says on it for, for my baby. And so um, that was the only, I would say, you know, potential um, aspect of intervention above and beyond the cash. Right. Did the moms know that some were getting only 20 and others were getting 333, or were they just given an amount and they were saying, and, and you just said, here, we're just wanting to see what happens, and they didn't have any idea what others were receiving? We have informed uh, the uh, mothers around the design of the study. Okay. Gotcha. Well, doctor, thank you so much for talking about the study with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.
We'll be back with more Rising right after this.